Mike Frankel at Fit NHB. It is Thanksgiving Eve, but when you have a fight December 2nd, I guess the work never stops, right, Austin? No, sir. And Austin Lewis here has some huge opportunities coming at King of the Cage, Starbound, too. So, how about you, Phil, and the folks? What's happening? I am fighting for the 115 pound super fight male uh, title. And it's an amateur title, right? Yes, sir. 115 pound, a 115 pound amateur title fight there for King of the Cage. You've had quite the amateur run. We've seen you progress from live sparring to having had cage fights. How much of a different martial artist do you feel when you look back on these years, how can you kind of talk about that? The experience is a really, really key factor whenever it comes to fighting because it kind of knocks the jitters off whenever you're walking out to the cage or the ring. Um, so whenever you, I remember my very first fight, I was like super nervous and it wasn't even the fight itself that I was nervous about, I was more nervous because of the crowd. And with the experience, yeah used to the crowd so now the crowd doesn't bother me so that's one big key factor experience <laughs> first for amateur cage fight title fight for you what does that mean it means a lot just go out there and go get the win um, I'll be looking for a finish no matter if it's on the feet on the ground I've been training everywhere hard for this fight you found your weight class your a smaller guy, 115 pounds, seems to be where you're excelling at right now. Yes, sir. At 115, I'm actually 2-0. Oh. I got one knockout and one decision. Um, I don't feel like it's as easy to get held down at 115. The people aren't as big. Uh, when I was fighting at 125, I'd weigh in at 125. Fight night, I'd weigh 127. So I was giving up a lot of weight. Um, now I've cut to 115. Fight night, I'm 125, 128. Pending, um, and I, I can feel it. I feel me being the bigger person instead of being the smaller person at 115. It's pretty cool. And now also having the diet and cut weight because you were finding your walk around weight. How has that felt? It's actually not too bad because we, me, my sister, and her husband, we eat you know, pretty much like a vegetarian diet. We don't eat no meat. We eat a lot of salads, greens. So it doesn't really make it too hard. I still like, snack on some stuff here and there, but it's not too bad. My, my, low, my weight's super low right now. Just gotta get these last few pounds off. Way in. How big of an accomplishment was it for you to make the King of the Cage 100 top knockouts in the year list with the vicious knee finish in your last fight? That was pretty cool, because I've always wanted to be on a top corner knockout, and I got to do it this year. It was cool. What kind of mindset do you take into the title fight? Just coming in to bring it. Um, looking to finish the fight. I know it's going to be a tough fight. The guy's name is Oscar Herrera. Um, he's scrappy. Um, I'm just going to come in, stay in his face, and not let him have any room to breathe. I believe I saw that Oscar has like 12 amateur fights under his belt. Yeah, I believe his record is 6-6 six and six now. What do you know about him? What else do you know? About him? I actually fought him back in July. He's the one I got the top 100 knockout on. So, um, I know he's probably going to be, he's got some pretty good jits, so he's going to probably come try and take me down. Um, we're, we've been practicing my jiu-jitsu, my wrestling, so we'll be ready for him to try to shoot in. Um, if it does go to the ground, I'm not afraid to go to the ground because I've been working super hard on my jiu-jitsu because I was supposed to fight a wrestler and... <laughs> You know wrestlers are going to take you down, so you got to be prepared everywhere. So, yeah, I'm going to look well-rounded in this fight. Give you any extra anticipation because it is a rematch? No, you can't really. Even though I did win the first fight, you can't underestimate the opponent. Ever. Ever, ever. Because the fight's a fight. So, anything can happen. And what has Austin Lewis been working on? Where is he been focusing on improvement? My wrestling and my jiu-jitsu because everybody all... all Everybody already knows that I can stand up, and everybody knows I come to fight. So I've been working on my jiu-jitsu and my wrestling because everybody always tries to take me down in my fights, and I don't want to just get laid on top of it.
in my fight. So my scrambles, my jiu-jitsu, and my wrestling is what I've been working on. And we all know, really, you do you love to stand up, you love to strike, you love the knockouts. Have you had to put yourself in a mindset where you love the grappling to be able to put as much time into it as you have? Yes, and right now I've been working with my jiu-jitsu instructor. His name is Armando Gomez de Silva. He's a second-degree black belt. He has kind of made me fall in love with jiu-jitsu more because he's showing me like these different tools that are sneaky that nobody really knows. So it's kind of cool just learning these new tricks. And I'm always going to love striking, but I'm starting to fall in love with jiu-jitsu. And if you want to be an MMA fighter, you got to be well-rounded. There's some amateur contracts. There's a pro contract up for grabs. Besides being a title fight, King of the Cage is judging the amateurs come December 2nd. What does that do for you, and what thoughts do you have on that process? Going into this fight, I'm not even having any of those contracts in my mind. I'm just worried about the title coming back home. How do you win that title? Finish. Either be on the feet, on the ground, no matter what, I'm going to finish that fight. Picking up that title belt here in New Mexico, what would that mean? That'd be amazing, fighting, bringing home that belt in front of my hometown would just mean the world. It'd be awesome. Sunday, December 2nd, it's King of the Cage, Starbound 2, the Santa Ana Star Center. Did you have a message for fans, Austin? Just come out and show your support, it's going to be a hell of a fight. And then anybody that you need to thank or shout out to? I want to thank my coaches at Fit and HB and Elevation Boxing and Fitness. And I also want to thank Armando Gomez de Silva for everything. Awesome, sir.